Well, today from Maya Kowalski herself in the Take Care of Maya trial. This is the $220 million lawsuit against Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. And Maya took the stand today and discussed her treatment at the hospital and her separation as well from her family. And the Kowalski say that separation caused Maya's mother to take her own life. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer is live in the newsroom for us tonight. And Aaron, take us through some of Maya's emotional testimony today. Yeah, Allie and Mark, she discussed her life as a young girl, how she started out healthy, athletic, and in no pain before things took a turn for the worse eight years ago. Maya says her mother was desperate to help, but when the state separated her from her mom, Maya says that desperation led to her mother's suicide. At 2 in the morning, I broke out in tears. I was just crying uncontrollably. That was the day Maya Kowalski's mother, Beata, took her own life. Maya was at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, separated from her family for three months. Before she even knew about her mom's suicide, Maya had a sickening feeling and called a nurse. And I told her, I miss my mom. I miss my mom. Uh, I love my mom. I want to go home to my mom. Mm. Turns out she ended her life. Maya's emotional testimony went from heartbreak to anger as she described the amount of time she was allowed to spend with her family that day. It was actually so unbelievably cruel the amount of time they allocated for me to spend with my family after hearing such awful news. When Maya was a child, she was diagnosed with chronic regional pain syndrome or CRPS. She says it left her screaming in pain and unable to walk at the time. She received the painkiller ketamine during a series of intense treatments in Mexico in which she was told she had a 50% chance of death. You know it's bad when like a 10 year old is willing to take that risk. I mean that's how bad my pain was. Maya told jurors the ketamine worked and she was improving before a flare up brought her to all children's in 2016. But staff at the hospital disagreed with the treatments and suspected child abuse. They reported the case to DCF and a judge ordered Maya into state custody. That's when Maya's separation from her family began. She says during that time, staff lied to her and tried to convince her she was fine. When I expressed to them a symptom or like my pain, they would say, no, you're making it up or it's in your head. She told jurors that led to a 48 hour period where she was isolated in a hospital room. Maya says staff wouldn't help her go to the bathroom and instead tried to see if she could actually walk, but she couldn't. These claims are critical to the Kowalski family's $220 million lawsuit against all children's. The family says the hospital medically kidnapped Maya and the separation from her daughter caused Beata Kowalski to take her life. Maya, meanwhile, struggled through tears to discuss a necklace she gave her mother for Christmas that year. And then I found out later that she wore it every single day and when she was found in the garage she was still wearing it <laughs> and i have it on my neck right now and at the center of this lawsuit is one major question did all children's actions and the actions of dcf cause beata kowalski to take her life maya's family of course says the answer is yes her testimony could go a long way in determining whether the jury agrees. Allie. All right, Aaron Mesmer in our newsroom tonight. Aaron, thank you.